Hey guys, it's Ed again. Been a while since I shot a video. Um, another piece of crap followed me home today. Actually, it followed me home a couple days ago. But look at that. You know what they say? There's no such thing as a free boat. But so the boat was free. Uh, the trailer I actually bought. So um, yeah, I give a hundred bucks for the trailer. And uh, tire's still holding air. I had to put air in it to get her home, but it made it. It's, um, you know what the killer thing about it is, is it's even got paperwork on it. So I got registration, um, all that good stuff. But, um, anyway, it's a, uh, last on the, uh, on the ocean. Well, she was probably never on the ocean in 02 in New York. Um... There she is on the inside, and uh, geez, it doesn't have an odometer, so we can't really check the mileage. Steering wheel's kind of scrunchy looking. Um, the floor looks good. I mean, I don't think it's rotted out underneath the fiberglass. Um, the whole thing back there where yeah i know it's technical i know all you boat guys are like whole thing yeah um was that like a village maybe would that be what that would be called that that hole right eh, it's dark right there it's filled full of pine needles um i think that's village i think maybe not anyway um that's uh um and all this looks good here the plywood under here looks good feels good there's some water trapped underneath it that probably isn't good i don't know if there's plywood under here or is there um foam under here or is there just nothing under there i really don't know um i know nothing about boats i just know that i don't know it was free boat so um yeah it's fiberglass it's been painted as you can see right here you clean that up nice might even be able to that's what it should look like um i would prefer that myself i don't know why they painted it blue but they did um i was able to get the um sticker here sorry for the gallons of water but it's rained all day here but um oh it's on my foot son of a gun up it well, let's read it through the water. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, no, it gives you too much of a reflection. But anyway, it's a 14-foot siren, StarCraft, and um, 64W1861, uh, four max horsepower, 4.5 horsepower. It's got a one-year warranty, boys. Um, so... It might be a little bit out, but I'm going to try taking it back and see if I can get my money back. Um, what do you think? I was told that this little jobber right here is worth some money. Uh, and it's not broke or nothing. So I heard that, that's like worth 100, 100 bucks, 150 bucks on eBay. Something like that. So um, has this cool little piece of conduit with a clip in the middle of it. I guess that's to hold some kind of top had buttons here so this buttoned and then the top went on it i guess don't know for sure um but got all kinds of little clips see these clips i'm not sure what you clipped onto those any more buttons there's a hole that's probably not a good thing probably don't want a hole in your hull looks like there was a screw in it we'll put a oh actually there was a button in it i have to put another button in it. But the bottom of the hull looks pretty good. Oh. So, I don't know if you guys can see any of that. But, it's, it's not damaged. So, um, I think it would float. At least temporarily. Um, so, I started a search here to find a, uh, it's got a nice little uh, nylon strap wench thingamaduty, technical term. 
Um, but I was trying to find a motor for it, and I wanted something kind of period that would be uh, what would go on it. And uh, I came up with this. No, that's a toilet. Jeez, you can't. Even though, you know what they say about boats, it's like throwing your money in the toilet. So let's take a quick look in here. Apologize for the darkness, but this is what I found local. It's a uh, big twin. And Evan Rude, sorry for being so close. Uh, it's, I don't have a lot of room in here because I got too much junk and I keep bringing it home. Big twin electric start. There's the numbers on it. Let me see if I can blow those up a little bit. Ooh. Right there. 4045 3R, which is 40 horsepower. And the four, the third digit, is the year. It's either 1954 or 1964. I'm pretty sure it's a 64. And then uh, five three, I have no idea what it means, but um, but yeah, there's the uh, the heart for it. Came with the controls. This motor has compression. The guy tore it half apart, as you can see. So I have no idea what I'm getting into. It'll probably be a basket case and end up in the dump. But we'll see what happens. It could survive. Who knows? Um. The controls are over here. I just stuck them up here. They're Morse controls, and shifter, and a throttle, and the cables. They didn't look in too bad a shape. And he also gave me the uh, uh, steering cables too. He, I guess the boat it was on was a Niagara, a 14-foot Niagara. So, um, and uh, as you guys saw, this is a StarCraft. Um, ooh, extra parts. Should put this with the motor. I broke the sediment bowl. Um, trying to pick the thing up. It's very light. It only weighs like 200 pounds. <laughs> so I think I left a testicle someplace. Uh, if you guys see it laying around anywhere, just uh, message me or something. Let me know. Um, but the windshield isn't broke. You know, cracked or anything. It's all dirty and scrungy looking, but it's not broke up. So, I don't know. Some of you guys are boat guys. I know you guys are. Um, pretty sure this is the steering wheel. I, I'm thinking. It might even clean up. I already started to. See? Look at that. Actually use more than just rainwater and probably clean right up and look like a million bucks. Got the rear view mirror. Not really sure why you would need a rear view mirror. I guess you could back up using your mirrors. Um, be kind of interesting. Here's the... Here's the um, um, steering cables, I guess. But anyway... Uh, I'm running low on batteries, guys, and I don't want to make this much longer. Been on there almost eight minutes, nine minutes. So, um, thanks for watching and uh, subscribing, commenting, and all that other good stuff. Maybe somebody out there can uh, tell me uh, what the heck I did and should I shoot myself now or uh, later. So, anyway, guys. Say bye to the boat. Bye, boat.